So, all right, so this is the scale format. And uh, the, the skeleton is this concept that you'll see in like, um, okay, no, let me close all these. Skeleton is this concept that you'll see in, in ETC. So ETC scale. Um, and uh, so the idea here is that when you create a new uh, user, then you end up, so if you do user add um, dash M, which means create a home directory test user. Um, um sudo su or su sudo user what is it dash i okay so now we're test user and we see that all those files exist for test user um so the the idea here is you use this as as uh, you, you fill out, like, I don't know, now I'm thinking it's probably the word, the reason they use skeleton is because you're, you're the, the body of the user is based on the skeleton. Um, so that's that's the idea here is that, you know, all these oh, files. Basically, do... like how we create a new grid repository and we get all those files, read me, get ignored, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, that's exactly. Like yeah, you'd usually, you'd usually go create those or sometimes GitHub can create them for you, right? Yeah. And so that's just like sort of the, the basis, your backbone. Right. Yeah. Your skeleton of, of your of, you know, whatever you're doing. And in this case, it's a user. Um, in, in our case, with uh, DFML, it's the kind of plugin that you're creating. So we have several different kinds of plugins. Um, let me just remove that. All right. So we have several different kinds of plugins. Um, and uh, there's some that's some stuff that's shared between them. So with the with the models, you know, we've got we've got yeah we've got our tests, and I think our test integration here does the uh, console test stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, so so every every you'll notice that every kind of plugin, so the config loader, the model, operations, service, source, right? And and I think we can see in the tests here, CI run, um, you'll notice that where's run plugin run plugin all right so you'll notice that this is so this is the main ci job for um you know testing a plugin right and we have this if statement to say okay if we're testing the main package if we're not testing the main package we just run the examples after we run the packages test if we are testing the main package then we want to go and we want to try to run the create command using each of these plugins right so we have model operations service source config um and which is maps to all of these here and so basically what that does is is that that command when you run this command it should be copy pasting all of that that stuff um so oops oops um default service dev create model default model my model log debug should have some debug login here all right, yeah, so, okay, it grabs those, it grabs those parameters, and then it looks in here, and it creates, um, so it copies over all these files, and I thought it had some copying logging, but it basically, it'll copy over all these files in model, and then it'll copy over all these files in common, um, and uh, so there's a specific way that this is set up also so that we can go and test these packages so if i go into this package that i just created i can run you know python dash m unit tests um dash oops dash v um and it'll run all the all the tests obviously okay i haven't installed the model here so that one's going to fail um which is the console test ones but um so if now so so say that's that's when the models you know i've run the instantiation and i've created the i've created it itself right so if i wanted to go in and i wanted to work on the tests for one of these like for example the test let's go uh, test operations or wait what happens if we do test no yeah i guess test model may not work right now because of, and, and we'll see why but so if i wanted to go and i wanted to run the test on one of these i can go in there and i can i can run the tests and so but the thing is, before you do that, and I think this is in the docs, service, you have to run this service dev link or a scale. Okay, so now you'll notice that we have all these sim symbolic links into the common folder. 
And so the common folder is meant so that we we don't have to, because what happened is that initially when we did this, we had to keep all these files in sync. So like the version file, you know, the Pi project license um, and the setup file and, and things kept I don't, things kept getting out of sync and then there would be issues um, and we'd be like, oh, well, we squash one bug here and then we have another bug there. And so now what we have is is we have this system where we basically just symlink into common. And now when we run the tests, um, it can, you know, it, it finds the correct uh, thing. So if you're ever working on these, you should be able to go run the tests in them. Um, and that has to do, so all of, all of this replace import package name and stuff, this ties into these setup files. Um, so this one, and this is this is sort of, you know, each package has its own setup file, and this is part of why we have setup and setup common. And uh, so that was to make it so that, you know, we have this minimal setup file where the users are only, you know, overwriting what they want. Now, this turns out to probably not be the best idea. You know, we're hiding we're hiding some stuff from the users, and so uh, they may, this may make them confused. Um, and so, um, so yeah, so I think, you know, better, better pro path for us is to, to moving forward, probably move to these setup config files um, and sort of ditch the setup py file altogether and just have some more replacement happening in there. Um, and I think, you know, part of that was that everything has its own entry points, right? So we'd, uh, we need to, we need to basically, um, so the entry points we defined you know, as a blank thing here, and then we filled them in in the in the main one, and so we're just going to need to add. So within this this scale infrastructure, when it copies, it goes and it replaces all these things that say replace. You know, uh, these sort of in caps variables anywhere it sees them within the whole directory tree of the thing that it's copying. Um, and so we to in order to sort of for for the sake of the develop like for this this is where it gets sort of tricky is because when we're you know, in order for us to be able to run these tests here, um, we have to uh, we have to make this um, we have to make it so that you know our entry points. Well, I guess we didn't install the package. We're going to have to take another look at this, right? Because I don't think the model tests work um, because it would need to be installed. Um, yeah, so it would need to be installed. Um, to run that that console test plugin, so we're going to need to take a look at this again and, and evaluate what's going on here. But the main reason why it was done this way was because then you can put the entry points in the separate file, keep the common file the same using the sim link, and uh, that way you can go into these directories and still run the tests, um, which was you know something that it, it becomes very frustrating to work on these skeleton. Um, um, projects if you can't run the tests within there if you have to rerun the create command every time it it, yeah. it becomes frustrating so that was part of the design um you know what, what was going on here do you have any sort of questions about that oh no no i think it, it was awesome great okay. great great okay good i'm glad we got to talk about that um so let me i can post that somewhere 